How to create a survey with SurveyMonkey. Good day folks, welcome to the channel. If you need to create a survey, SurveyMonkey is one of the greatest platforms that you will actually ever use. It's got so much capability, so many options, and they've got some really good price plans. So let us jump in and create a survey. I'm gonna show you how to create the survey. I'm gonna show you how you can collect your responses and then also manage that data so that you can actually understand what it is that you're getting from your surveys. Then I'm gonna show you some pricing plans. So let's jump straight in. The first thing we're gonna do here is have a look at the interface. So as you can see, it's very, very simple. This is sort of like a home page or an overview page. So you can see over here that you can go ahead now and you can see all of your data on your surveys and you can have a look down over here you can um, have a look at some of the tips to get started on the bottom of the right and once you sort of have some data this will be filled quite nicely so we have the option over here at the top of the page as a new user it says what types of surveys and forms do you want to send so you can go ahead and you can go through a six page sort of questionnaire so you can actually figure out what kind of uh, service it is that they can customize for you and make it better for your experience now the two options that you have at the top of the page there is a create survey and down on this home page there is a green create survey button so we can click on any one of those and it'll take us to our survey creator page so the first thing you want to do here is have a look at what type of survey you can build with survey monkey so on the left hand side you have a toolbar and you can either start a survey straight from scratch from the ground up with absolutely no data populated and then you can also build a survey with ai you can also buy targeted responses you can create a survey with a copy paste scenario and then you can import questions or you can start a survey from a template that is actually on the survey monkey platform then you can also explore the market research solutions over here which is a bit more of an advanced option for now we're going to go in and we can start from a template or we can start from scratch now the reason i want to start from scratch is because they have so many options and so many ways that you can customize a survey so we're going to start and we're going to enter our survey name so we're going to go ahead and we can say um, product survey we can now also enter a survey category so whatever category your survey sort of falls in we're going to go ahead and we can check whatever box that is there you also have some advanced settings over here you can copy questions and answers from a document and then you can use the audience panel to buy targeted responses if you want to learn more about that there's a little question mark there you can go in and learn more about what that actually entails for now we're going to tap on create survey and this is now our blank canvas or our blank interface so the first thing you want to have a look at here is a logo that you can put on the top of your survey so you can now import a logo from your device maybe your company logo it could be the logo for the actual survey itself whatever it is you can put it in over there the next thing is the name of the survey and it says product survey you can now edit this because it will be on the actual survey the people that are partaking in the survey they can actually see this then you can see over here there is a page title so let's say perhaps you have different um, titles or different sections of the survey you can use the page title to break these sections up then it gets into the question part of the survey so it says over here question one and now you can enter your question so for example we can say what is your name now they've put this box in over here and on the right hand side they've identified that it's a single text box however if you would like to change your type of question you can go in over here the drop down menu offers all of these options over here you can now check whichever option you'd like you also have the ai bot the ai integration that gives you suggestions so once you've put in this over here you can see that there are five suggested questions that are accordingly or 
likened to your question so you can see if there's something that matches your needs better you can actually replace it with any one of these suggestions you can now go ahead and we're in the editing option over here now there's the options part of the question we can tap on that you can either have the answer required to this question so you make it a required field and then you can validate the answer for a specific format and once you tap on that it'll give you the options so the answer should be you can either have it a specific length or any of these other formats then you can actually change the increments or the space that it can be in between so if it's a specific length uh, it can be so many characters then when the answer is invalid display this error message you can see now that you can customize that error message you can also now go down some of the other options is adjust question layout and over here the question placement you can say start question on a new row and you can also then select place next question to previous if the screen size permits you can also have the text box width as well as the question spacing so you can really customize pretty much everything it is about your question right over here you can also enable the question text a b testing which is a random assignment and you can just tap on that and you can select that so we've now gone through all of these options we can go ahead and say save and now this question will be saved you can see over here it says what is your name and you can now have that person whoever's doing the survey enter their name in over here the next thing that we want to do is we want to start a new question so we can either have this drop down menu we can choose which question we want over here and you know whichever one it is you can go ahead like let's say for example we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a drop down so now your question can be what is your favorite color and then we can have the drop down selection over here it says uh, the select type so we can now go ahead and change the drop down menu options we're going to just go ahead and uh, we can now enter our choices over here so we can say blue we can say red we can say yellow all right and once you've done that you can now change some options here you can either reverse the answer order you can score this question which is nice if um, you are running a survey and there's a certain score that needs to be obtained you can go ahead and you can uh, enable that and then you can add an other option um, to the comment field so you know instead of having only the choices of these three colors for example you can have a other tab over here which just basically if there's any other color that somebody likes that is the option that they will choose you can now go ahead you can select your type if you want to change the type over here and um, you can see that there are quite a few options so once you are sort of done with this over here as you can see it's now changed the multiple options you can go ahead and you can go again into the options you can change a bunch of the options as we went in earlier on there is also a logic over here um, that you can go in and you can change around and then you, when you're done with that question you can go ahead and say save now let's say you want one question per page you can now go ahead and you can go to the bottom of this page and it says new page now once you tap on new page it'll open a new page you can enter the page title and now you can enter the question over here just as we've done previously you can also change this next previous done option over here so if somebody's done with their question they can go ahead and tap on the done if they need to go back they can tap on the previous and you can define all of these buttons over here and then you can tap on save when you're done so if you do like your questions one question per page that's the way to do it if you want different types of questions on one page maybe three or four questions of the same category in one page you can do it like that once you're sort of done with that you can go ahead and every question that you create you can click on that and you can see that these are not the only options that are available if you have a look on the left hand side there is style over here and you can fully customize the look and feel of the actual survey itself so you can change the outlay you can change the theme you can change the text style the colors absolutely everything about the actual um, survey itself 
Once we're sort of done with our surveys, we can go ahead to our next step and we can go to the preview and score on the toolbar at the top of the page. Here you can basically have a look at your survey as a preview. You can go ahead also on the right hand side, it gives you some analytics, it gives you some issues if there are any issues. It also allows you to see the estimated completion rate and the estimated time to complete something like this. You can now go into the collect responses and this is how you will be collecting all all of the responses or the data that is coming from your survey so you can either go and send surveys your way and you can have those surveys sent back to you so that you can assess that data or you can target your ideal respondents and this allows you to buy responses from the right demographics on their global survey panel so this is now strictly the survey monkey audience and you can get results in minutes then analyzing the results over here, you can see once you actually have some data in here, this page will actually be populated. You can see over here right now that there is nothing, but once it's in here, you'll basically see a dashboard of what your results are and you can present it now in the present results. So once you go in over here, you can tap on new dashboard and now you can pick out specific analytics about each one of your surveys. You can drop them in over here and you can start building a dashboard so that you can see all of your data all in one place and it's customized specifically to your needs. We're going to go ahead now and have a look at their pricing structure. We can go ahead and uh, you can see over here there is the surveymonkey.com forward slash pricing and they have three main packages. Now you can see the first one is a team advantage and they give a fair amount of options over here and really to continue to use the free package as an individual you're only going to be doing a couple surveys a month it's really not a bad option at all. So this 390 czar actually covers um, three users and it is billed annually, but that is the price per month. 390 czar, it sounds like a large amount, but we're going to go ahead over here and you can see that 390 South African rands is actually only not even $22. So every month you're paying $22 to get all of these options over here. You can see now in the next package, the Team Premier, it is 885 and you can go ahead and you can see here that 885 South African rands is actually not even $50 a month. Now, if you have a look at what you're getting over here in the package, there is quite a bit of options that you can actually access over here and then of course we have the enterprise which will actually contact the survey monkey platform and you'll actually have a customized plan thrown together for you and it'll be billed individually then you can go ahead down over here you can see that there are a couple other options they give you a couple details you can see all of their plan features in detail just by tapping on this see all plan features you can see exactly what each and every one of these features over here mean in detail so if you want to just have an overview of them, you can just go ahead and hover your cursor over all of the options and you can see that they give you some of a definition as to what exactly it is. You can go further down now and you can see that if you have some corporate needs, you also can contact sales for that. And then also they do offer discounts for teams. You can go ahead and you can click on see pricing and that'll be specialized pricing over there. There we go, folks. If you want to build a survey quickly and easily, SurveyMonkey is by far the best platform that you can use. It's specifically designed for surveys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you in another video. We'll catch you then. Happy surveying. Cheerio.